Hi, I'm Phil Constantine. We're looking at a glacier lake outburst, which has flooded Juneau, Alaska three times in three years. And this is it right here. This is the Suicide Basin Glacial Lake. And this is called a GLOF, or Glacial Lake Outburst Flooding. And it fills up here and all of a sudden streams out. And this river has flooded. You can see one of the houses here in one of the previous floods three times in the last three years. And they put up these barriers here to protect the river. Well, let me show you exactly where it's at. Juneau, Alaska is the capital of the state of Alaska, and it's located in the Panhandle, the southern part of Alaska. You can see it here. You'll see the airport coming into view at the bottom of your screen there. And the city of Juneau and the little areas surrounding it are in a, a valley of the Mendenhall River. And this river comes off the Mendenhall Glacier, which you see at the top center of your screen up there. And that's the lake itself. And we'll be talking about the lake a little bit in a few minutes here. This is the main part of the glacier. And off to the right is the Suicide Glacier at the top and the basin right in front of you. Now, this all used to be solid glacier. But due to global warming, this is melted. And the water flows in from up above, fills this up. And then it either goes over the top of the main glacier or it goes underneath it and just comes out in one enormous flow, spreads down through the end of the glacier here, the Mendenhall, into Mendenhall Lake, and then into the Mendenhall River. And as you can see here, the city is fairly level out there, and it comes in as floods. And the floods have reached 15, 16 feet above normal levels. And this is the city itself, three times in the last three years. Let me explain what's happened here. This is a picture from 1893 of the main Mendenhall Glacier, Suicide Basin on the right, several other glaciers there in front of you, and now you're looking at a picture that was taken in 2018, which was roughly 120 plus years later. And there's a big difference here. Global warming has caused a lot of the glaciers to melt. And you're able to see that. This over here that the cursor's pointing at, that was the Suicide Glacier. It went all the way down the mountain slope and joined in with the main part of the glacier. And there were other ones there on the rest of the mountains. If you look all around, you'll see them there. Well, as we move back, you'll see a lot of them have retreated. They've gone back up. Those two you see right there, let's take a look at them and see they're about halfway up there. There's even a lake there at the bottom of that glacier there in the center part. So back over here on Suicide Basin, this came all the way off the top of the mountains, came down the slope there, and all the way into the basin below, and it gouged out an area underneath there. You see these U-shaped valleys. Well, this is the area was completely full back then. Well, due to glacial or global warming, the glaciers have melted. But this trough, this basin is still there. That fills up now every single year and then often explodes out of there. So let's look some more at Suicide Basin. This is it right here, looking toward the glacier at the top, which now forms an ice dam. And as the water melts off from the glacier to the right, it comes down, fills up this area, slowly works its way back up as it builds up. Then eventually, as you can see it here, gets so high that it either works its way underneath the full glacier or goes over the top and then drains out all in one humongous flow that comes out into the area here. Now you can see this is the actual big glacier building up from the force of all that water from that basin coming in there. Just massive amounts and then it drops. Now they check it with remote cameras here. They have people come down and in person go down and measure the depth of the water down there as it builds up so they can get some idea how high it is and warn people in advance. They'll go out there. They'll take helicopters out there. They will go over with drones, fly around to see how high up it is. That's how in those earlier pictures you saw, you could see the levels of it. So the Weather Service works very, very hard to warn the communities. Yeah, my name is Andrew Park. I work here at the National Weather Service in Juneau. Um, this is an update. It's 517 in the morning, August 13th, and it's Wednesday. The Mendenhall Lake is at 15.88 feet. It's rising. It will go past 16 feet. That was a record stage from last year, and that should go over 16 feet in the next 30 minutes or so. Um, we still think the crest is going to happen between 8 a.m. and noon today, and we still think the height is going to be around 16.25 to 16.75 feet. Some more of the river out here. 
Now this is some of the area where it's not protected by special barriers. These are called HESCO barriers designed to prevent flooding from reaching into an area. And you can see the river here and that's one of the barriers right in front of you. They fill them in so they make a basically watertight barrier. Doesn't always work but it's better than nothing. And you can see this community over on the right hand side there from this barrier protecting on them. On 4.30 in the afternoon on Wednesday, August 13th. And it's looking like this Mendenhall flood event for 2025 is coming to an end. Uh, that doesn't mean the impacts are over. It's just the full flooding event flooding of the river is coming to an end. The weather service estimate of how high the water was going to get was right on. It came back at 16.65 feet and that was right in their range of prediction. They even have maps here to show you how your area might flood depending on how high the water gets. They can't predict far in advance when the floods might start. They can tell you how high it is as it starts to come in. And then there's other sources out here where you can see the flooding, the barriers, and a wide variety of things out there. So this is an ongoing effort caused by changes in the climate and melting of the glaciers. And so they are trying all kinds of efforts to keep the public informed and find ways to work around it. These conditions that cause this are called a GLOF. Internationally, thousands of people have died. Fortunately, no one has died in the United States so far. But what exactly is a GLOF? A GLOF, or a glacial lake outburst flood, happens because glaciers are retreating. Where there was a basin, or a geographic bowl essentially, that was full of ice, was now allowed to be filled with water instead. And the leftover glacier acts like a dam that keeps the water in place. But there will come a point as the glacier retreats that the water is allowed to escape. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to make comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the circle with my picture in it in the lower right hand corner of the video. The arrow is pointing at it now. And once you have subscribed, you can be notified of when I have a new video posted by clicking on the bell icon in the description field below the video. Thanks again for watching.